What is going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to show you guys a comparison video between Final Cut Pro 10 and Adobe Premiere Pro. Now the uh, program that I'm currently on is Final Cut Pro, which is exclusive to Apple computers. The layout is going to be way different. Of course, in Final Cut Pro, you have more of a simple kind of straightforward user interface over here is where you can kind of switch between kind of category tabs. Down below is going to be your main editing timeline where you can move and split clips and kind of move them like that. Over on the right is the pretty much the settings for the timeline here. Over in the middle here, you have, of course, your video of what's going to be playing and of course you have the tools for that just above the gray strip which tells you the project name and all of that then on the right here if you click the uh, button up here you pretty much bring up the effects and the effect controls and stuff like that you also have the option to export or share your clips go to new project so I'm gonna go here and select the video that I've downloaded now it'll show you the duration frame rate the video codec and so on you can then you know choose to edit that clip or export you can then go through the different locations on your uh, local drive on your computer whether you're on a PC or a Mac of course I'm on a Mac so it's gonna show Macintosh HD so now that we are in Adobe Premiere Pro you're gonna notice a lot has changed and it looks a little bit more complicated ish here in Adobe Premiere Pro you have the option to import then you can edit once you create your project and then you can export when you're ready to export your video this is gonna be where your timeline is also your sequence there's no magnetic timeline in Premiere Pro which means if I split this clip right here say I want to cut the video right there what I would have to do press C and then you can click and that will split the clip. So anyways, once you make your cut, you can then click and drag this and you can leave like a gap here. So right now it's playing at full resolution, which is that 4K video. If you wanna drop it by half, which is gonna be about 2K. And then you can do one fourth of that, which I think is 1080p. And then you can do one eighth, which is I think like 480 or something. So in Adobe Premiere Pro, finding tools is gonna take a lot longer, I think. Over here, you have the effects, graphics, sound, color, and all of that there, libraries, history, and info. In Final Cut Pro, if you just want to simply edit the color, there's a lot of options that you can do, but the most simple way of, for most people is that they're gonna be going over to the Inspector tab up at the right here. And then you just click this little triangle button if you're on the newest version. If you're on an older version, it's gonna look like a circle. You can then add a correction, or you can just simply just change the color right there and then just move the highlights. You also have other options. So you have color wheels now. So you can then kind of get a little bit more precise with your colors here. Again, you could do color curves. You also have the option of going to window, going to workspace, and going to, right now it's set to default, but if you go to color and effects, you get a more advanced look at the colors. So here you have, well, right now we're working on a Rec 709 uh, color space, which is standard video. You can then change the overall like layout. So if you want it in a two by two, you can do that. I think it's like four. Or you can do it this way so you can kind of see more of that uh, vector scope which is this kind of just shows you the values you have red magenta blue cyan green yellow and it points to more red here as you can see there's more red so the red will light up this way if you want to get rid of them just uncheck this button and you're done so that's pretty easy but if you go over to the effects and you go to the color tab under video you have all of these color presets and the cool thing is you can just hover over them to get a quick preview of what it would look like with that particular preset enabled and say you wanted to do colorize just click and drag that effect onto your clip it'll add it to your effects here kind of stacked you can then turn on or turn them off All right, so just like in Final Cut Pro, what you're gonna do is you're gonna select the video that you want to use. I'm just gonna go here and go to color. You can change under color, white balance, temperature, and then change the temperature by using the slider. And it shows you a visual. The tint will kind of move it to the left. 
saturation you can do that as well and you can then increase the exposure you can you know decrease the contrast increase the highlights and so on then if you click on creative now you have the option of well, do you want it to to use a certain color what then you can just select it from this list i think these are already with premiere pro i personally like using my own the ones that i've created are for my website kingtutspro.selfi.store link is in the description so here we go it's the 20 dreamy retro lutz uh pack there's 20 different ones and they all are really inspired by this kind of vaporwave 70s 80s retro look so if you like that vintage look and feel then definitely check this one out so i'm gonna go with number 11 a nostalgia and I'm gonna click on open. So this will immediately color grade your video in a matter of seconds and we'll just change the overall look as you can see. So this is a before and after and you can also change the overall opacity or intensity with this slider. You also have the color wheels here that you can change and maneuver. Uh, I personally like the one in Final Cut Pro, using it here with the mouse feels very weird. Uh, curves, you know, you have RGB curves and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go back to creative. All right, guys, so this next category is gonna be more of the smaller kind of differences between Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere Pro. And that's gonna be kind of just navigating and using tools overall in a general editing sense. So uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna say right here, I'm gonna press C, click, and that will split the clip. I'm gonna kind of skim through the video and say right there, I wanna split it, just hover over it, click, and then switch to the selection tool by pressing V or going over here. You can also move this too. You can click and drag and move it like over here or on the left and so on, which is kind of cool. So now if I click and drag, you're notice that the audio also sticks with the clip, which is normal. All you gotta do is select it. And the difference here is if you wanna unlink the clips, right click and you're gonna have to go to unlink. And then now you're gonna see it automatically just selects the video for you and you can just drag the video only and move it over like that. All right guys, so I'm now in Final Cut Pro. So what I wanna do is say right here, I wanna split the clip. All you gotta do is press Command B or use the blade tool B, click once and then it'll make your cut. Press A to go back to the selection tool. So it's A not V in Final Cut Pro. Then you can just skim through or which is what I like is, it's like the video skimming feature in Final Cut Pro, and this is something I absolutely love. Also, if you have audio, right now I turned the audio off, which you can do that by using the slider here, clicking and dragging. So say right here, I wanna split it, just press Command B for the shortcut. Now, if you click and drag, you're gonna notice the next clip moves and fills that uh, spot where we moved that clip. That does not happen in Premiere Pro. So if you are uh, don't like that feature, there is an option of turning that off. I just don't know which one it is. If you guys know, let me know down in the comment section. All right guys, so if you want to turn down the volume of a audio track or a clip in Adobe Premiere Pro, all you gotta do is select the clip. So what you wanna do is double click on the gray area here. So it expands the row and then now you will have this uh, kind of white line across the audio. You can then click and drag this similar to what you can do in Final Cut Pro. So you can see a preview of the audio track. So if I go about halfway, you're gonna see it's a stereo track. So with Final Cut Pro, we're gonna select the clip that we want to show the uh, audio levels meter. So I'm gonna select the clip. I'm gonna reset this, reset parameter. And then I'm gonna go over to the window at the top and I'm gonna go over go to show in workspace and we're gonna go to audio meters. And now this will show you the audio meters on the right side. Also guys, I did want to let you know if you wanted to add a color LUT to your video in Final Cut Pro, you can easily do that by going over to the effects tab over here. Then you go down to the video under effects, you go to the color tab. Then next to the color, you're gonna go over to the custom LUT. If you're on the newest version, you should have this. Click and drag it onto your video clip in the timeline, or you can double click and that'll add it to whatever you selected. Then just go over to the uh, video inspector tab, go to LUT, and then you're gonna have a list of, well, this, this is all of my LUTs that I have from uh, my pack on my website link in the description, but you might have none listed. So just click choose custom LUT, and then you're gonna go over to the 20 Dreamy Retro LUTs pack, and then you're gonna select all of them. Just click and drag and click open. And then you can kind of cycle through them very quickly, 
faster than you would in Premiere Pro. All right guys, so once you are ready to say export your video clip, go over to file and then you're gonna go down to export and media or command M or you can go to the export and button, just click uh, export. This is new I believe to Premiere Pro. Then you can give it a name, location, click on this, save it to where, where you want it to on your hard drive or whatever. Preset, you can give it a preset if you want it to export it in 4K or to match the same source in Premiere Pro that you used. The format, you can change it to like H.264 or a waveform or a TIFF. You can choose to export the video or not. The same thing with audio. And then you have all of these other kind of metadata effects and so on. Uh, you can then export it as a media file or you can save it to YouTube or any of, any of these other social media sites. Then you can skim through your entire video before it gets exported. The range is the entire source or you can choose an area where you want it to export. So say you want it to export it only here, you can do that. This will shows you the project settings, the audio, and then what it's gonna be exported to, which shows you output. Now, if you're in Final Cut Pro and you wanna export your video, just go to File, Share, and then go to Export File. Or if you go to this button over on the right, you can then choose any of these options. So you have Export File, which is default. You can save it to Apple devices, 4K, YouTube, and Facebook. You can save it as a current frame if you have these here. And I'm gonna go to Export File. It brings up a window. You can skim through the video like you can in the timeline with the uh, kind of skimmer thing. Then you have the dimensions of the video, the audio, the length, what it's gonna be exported to, the size of that file, the name, you can change the name and all of this metadata there. Then you can change the settings, so the format, you know, you can go to computer or video and audio. If you do computer, uh, the video codec is gonna be H.264. It's either better quality or faster encode. Resolution can be any of these and it gives you the color space. If we go to video and audio, you can then change to any of these, which is Apple ProRes. So you have many more options in Adobe Premiere Pro than you do in Final Cut Pro. So that's gonna be another point to Premiere Pro. But honestly, if you guys are new to the editing space, I would recommend Final Cut Pro, give it a try. It's easier to use and navigate. It's quicker to apply effects, turn them on and off in uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. It takes a little bit longer to do that, but you have more customizability in terms of effects and color grading and exporting. But if you're doing more you know, quick day-to-day -day editing, nothing too overly complicated, then I think Final Cut Pro is great for really any uh, editors or anyone getting into editing and if you want to get a little bit more flexibility with more complicated projects and stuff like that I recommend Premiere Pro for sure. Anyways that'll be it for this video and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.